Dear Grandma Polly, as we mark the one year anniversary of your passing, I find myself reflecting on our extraordinary relationship and the profound impact you had on my life. You possessed a remarkable ability to make each person feel a deep and special bond with you. This time last year, my little family emerged from the confines of COVID quarantine, and it was on that final July 4th that we shared with you our love and gratitude for your unwavering support during those challenging times. Your daily calls and texts, ensuring our well being, meant the world to us. Despite the need for physical distance, we found a way to uphold our cherished traditions with you. I can still picture Angela, the girls, and me standing on our driveway while you sat on your porch. Through exchanged smiles and waves, we celebrated the excitement of the neighborhood fireworks together. July 4th and New Year's always held a special place in our heart, and you never failed to gather our family to witness the beauty of those sparkling moments. Even from a distance, your presence brought us immeasurable joy. Later, I discovered that you had an unforgettable evening enjoying the fireworks alongside Grandpa Al, the love of your life. You even shared a card game with my parents, creating memories that will forever remain etched in our hearts. Little did we know that the following day would bring a profound change to all of our lives. Grandma Polly, you were more than a grandmother to me. You were a beacon of light, radiating love, character, and charisma. Your unwavering faith in Jesus and your deep love for our family defined the beautiful world we got to share with you. From my earliest memories, you were always there, offering a helpful hand, sharing practical advice, and teaching me valuable life skills. I can vividly recall the time you patiently taught me how to ride a bike near the Tyler Street house. We stumbled upon a strawberry shortcake banana seat bike at a garage sale, and you guided me back and forth along that little alleyway, a testament to your boundless love and patience. I'll never forget the time and effort you put into finding the perfect suit for me when I was about six years old. Despite my protests, it all made it worthwhile because of the joy that I saw on your face. Your good nature, positive attitude, and willingness to embrace humor left a lasting mark on all of us. I will forever cherish the memories of my mischievous younger days, when I would sneak into your house through the garage hoping to startle you. The laughter we shared as you played along with my prank remains imprinted in my heart. You were truly one in a million, with an incredible ability to brighten someone's day and make them feel special. The recent purchase of the property next to yours symbolized the deep connection we shared. You would often remind us that we were the best neighbors, though we playfully argued it was the other way around. The memories we created in Polly's Cone Club, where our daughters would visit for ice cream, will forever hold a special place in our hearts. Your greatest joy was seeing everyone content and enjoying themselves. I can still hear your humming as you wash dishes in the kitchen after a family gathering. A sure sign that the party was a huge success. And who could resist your fresh pot of coffee and unwavering hospitality? I will deeply miss the captivating stories you shared about your upbringing on the farm in Missouri. How you recounted the memory of your parents building a back room over a stream where the cool water kept perishables fresh before the advent of refrigeration continues to inspire me. Your wealth of knowledge about working with what you've got and about the Baker family history fascinated us all. As you effortlessly connected past events to the present, learning from you was a privilege I will cherish forever. And your fearlessness, it knew no bounds. Whether it was moving heavy objects or courageously dispatching a snake or bug, you took on tasks that others shied away from, always with a smile on your face. I recall a time when our beloved dog passed away while we were on vacation. We were too far to make it home within one or even two days. Without hesitation, you and Grandpa took charge, moving and burying our cherished pet. Your courage was a testament to your elegance and sophistication. 
The traditions we shared held a special place in my heart. Polly's Cone Club, late night coffee and cards, sparklers and fireworks on the 4th of July and New Year's, banging pots and pans at midnight, and sharing black eyed peas for good luck on New Year's Day. These moments were uniquely ours. Grandma, you were a remarkable woman and your impact on all of us is immeasurable. In your later years, you affectionately called me Zaki and Sunny Boy. Your voice still resonates in my mind and I miss you dearly. You were someone I looked up to. I still look up to you and I aspire to continue your legacy, making you proud by embodying the valuable lessons you imparted to all of us over the years. With eternal love, your grandson, Zach.